All right, so here we are with drugstore lip glosses. Okay, so first up we have e.l.f. glosses. This is a lip oil in Berry Kiss. All of their lip oils are really pretty. Uh, there's one that I want, need. It is a very nude one. And then the second swatch is Coral Kiss. They're very lightweight, obviously they're oils, so they're kind of sheer, but they do enough where like it does have like a tint on your lips. This is the Lip Plumping Gloss in Mocha Twist. Beautiful, love. All of the e.l.f. lip products I've tried are fantastic. And this one, I hope you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it. This is Champagne Glam, also in the same formula. This one has a little more glitter or shimmer. I feel like I need to just declutter this one. I don't really reach for this one that much. Okay, so right here, I hope you can see it. It's like a kind of sparkly gloss. Um, this one is, or was released in the Molten Metals collection, I think is what it was called. It was limited edition. Um, I had it sent to me, like, or as in like they sent it. <laughs> to me but i don't know whenever i put any glitter gloss on my lips sting a little does anyone else experience this because i don't know why it happens only when i do glitter glosses but this one is beautiful but decluttering okay so this is a gloss up girl it has a doe foot and this is in the shade bear and that's a swatch of bear I like these glosses, but it has a kind of a weird smell. And upon first application, I also like it, but then over the course of the day, it's like a little dry and weird on the inner, you know, where your lips touch, so decluttering. These are two of their hollow glosses in the shades um, Iconic and Shade. So Iconic's the purple, and this is Shade. And their swatches, Iconic, Love, and Shade. Shade reminds me of Marc Jacobs' uh, Cha Cha Changes. Uh, it has like that same kind of dimension. They're so beautiful, keeping. The formula is also really easy to wear. Okay, so this first one is a Pump It Up Lip Plumper in Jessica. I'm not gonna swatch it because nothing shows up, but um, decluttering. It's, I don't know, I just never reached for it, I guess. This is an extreme lip shine in skin tone. Now, all of these are older, so this one I'm gonna declutter, but I'm repurchasing because like, seriously, it's like a beautiful formula, beautiful nude, looks so opaque and glossy. Like, it applies like perfectly. You see that, it's like perfect swatch, and that's exactly how it looks on your lips. Okay, these last three are the Glam Lip Glosses Aqua Lux. So we have 14. Very pretty. Probably repurchase this one. And the last two, we have shade number two and number seven. They're quite similar. One is more gold, one is more peach, and they look amazing on the lips, especially when you kind of pop them into the center. I'll probably repurchase these two also, or maybe just one, or both. I mean, it's next, guys. Okay, so this first thing is a Makeup Revolution lip topper in the shade Exquisite. This packaging is just insane. I think this released in the in the December, last December. Um, there's another shade that I think is a little more gold, but this packaging just kills me. There's a swatch of it. Can't really see the sparkliness. I think um, when I do my eyeshadows, I have a category that's just called sparkly glittery eyeshadows, and I'm definitely going to do that at night, um, film it at night with some night lighting so you can see the sparkles because here it's very difficult, but I'm keeping this one. I don't have a lip topper since I got rid of all of them and I'm gonna keep this one. This is a NYX uh, Strictly Vinyl in the shade Sugar Mama, keeping beautiful formula. Actually, I probably don't need to repurchase that skin tone shade because I have this one right now. This is a lip oil from Hard Candy called Black Rose, yes, Black Rose. Any of these that you buy, they all tint your lips. Like it's a lip oil, but they all stain your lips. And this one leaves like something really pretty, not good for uh, summer for me. But also I feel like very quickly the formula turned. I don't know if it went bad, but it definitely, it just smelled a little different uh, very shortly after opening it. So after maybe like a couple months, so I'm gonna declutter. This is a Maybelline Vivid Lacquer in, or Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Unreal. I mean, really beautiful, right? This is darker. I feel like I prefer the shade of the NYX one, 
but this one also works more so i guess mm, more wintry right or i mean depending on your skin tone could be perfect for now Mm, keeping lastly is a joa beauty mirror mirror lip gloss in the shade mapled this goes on like it looks like there's a tint when it goes on my lips there's like no color it does feel really good it does feel like a balm however i feel like the term mirror mirror is also misleading because it's not as like glossy shiny as like some of these other things that really really reflect light so decluttering declutter pile keep pile i think we did really good in this one okay you know how i was telling you guys about that heart candy so i showed this like i swatched this like not even like a minute ago like isn't that crazy like it really does stain your lips and it does stain your skin so also because of this i guess today we're done filming declutters because this is just going to stay in my hand for quite some time 